What's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel, watching the video. Today we are going back into our childhood. We are making a corn dog casserole. You heard it, corn dog casserole. It goes against my magic rules about a southern casserole must have mayonnaise. So I don't think it's a southern casserole, but it's a good, we'll call it a country casserole. It is so good, really easy to make with stuff you probably already have in your pantry at home. Uh, Jiffy cornbread mix, hot dogs, mm. Um, give it a try. Serve it. Dab a yellow mustard with a salad or something. Kids will love it. You'll love it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. All right, guys. The first thing we're going to do is chop up our hot dogs. I bought the bun-sized beef ballpark franks. There's eight in a pack. Each package is, I think, 15 ounces. 15 ounces, so two packs, so two pounds. But we're gonna cut them up. Yeah. I cut them, if you'd say that's an inch, about a half an inch. You want them a little bigger than beanie weenies, or no, um, the SpaghettiOs that have hot dogs on them. In a bowl, we're gonna add one and a half cups of milk. I use soy milk. We're gonna put two eggs. mix that together. All right. We're gonna take a 13 by nine pan. I'm using Pyrex because all casseroles should be in Pyrex dishes. And just spray it with uh, cooking spray. Set that to the side. So into our egg and milk mixture, we're gonna put two packs of Jiffy cornbread mix. And we're gonna mix that in. You don't have to do a great job mixing that, just get it stirred up so it's all moist. I use a whisk because it breaks up the lumps better. All right. Now I'm gonna clean up my station real quick. All right, we have our Jiffy cornbread mix. We have our hot dogs. This is a package of two cups of cheddar cheese. I use the mild, you could use sharp if you wanted to. And we're gonna put about a cup and a half, so kind of eyeball it, into the mixture. About right. Now this, you wanna put about three-fourths into the mixture. Right. And put them on. Now we want to fold all of that together. You want to make sure all the hot dogs are coated with the corn dog magic. All right, 13 by nine pan sprayed. We're gonna pour this in. All right, and spread that out. All right, 
You ask, why do we have this? You're gonna take the rest of the hot dogs and kind of sprinkle them over the top. I'll save a couple for the puppy. All right. Your rest of your cheese, you're going to sprinkle that over the top of this. All right. This will go into the oven, the 400 degree oven. You want to cook it 25 minutes. You want to make sure it's done and you'll use the toothpick test to make sure it comes that it's cooked. So into the oven. And we tell Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes starting now. We'll see you in 25 minutes. All right, our time's up. Let's check for doneness. So we're gonna open the Aww. oven, let the heat escape. Pull it out. I use a skewer and just stick it right in the middle. That is not even close to done. We'll let that go another 10 minutes. All right, let's check for doneness again. The time. Oops, sorry. Timer is up. Oh yeah, looks good now. Stick a skewer in. It comes out clean. There's no uh, dough or anything on the end of the skewer. So we are done. We're gonna take this deliciousness out of the oven. And I should use more than one. Cause it's out. All right. And this is what it looks like out of the oven. All right, so we've taken it out of the oven and we are going to taste it. It's gonna be really hot too, because you're not gonna let, let anything cool. Oh my God, it's so hot. You can see the cheese and the hot dogs and the cornbread. And let's see what it tastes like. Dude. It tastes just like a corn dog. It's so good. Anyway, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Time for more. <laughs>